What's going on everybody? Welcome to part four of our chatbot with Python in TensorFlow tutorial series. In this tutorial, uh, we're just going to keep building on the last one. So we've begun kind of pulling out the data that we're interested in. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do real quickly is bring up buff, uh, the buffer ing uh, parameter. So I wrote buffer here in that file open. It needs to be buffering. And at this point, just to make sure you got it right, you can print the row so for row and f, print row. And if you run this, you should see, you know, data flying by, okay? So make sure that's happening for you. If that's not happening, something's wrong. So I'm gonna get rid of that though, because that's gonna be really slow, especially with idle. Um, now, what we're gonna do is basically at this point, we've got the information, we're interested in inserting it into our database, but should we? So the next question is basically, first of all, like I was saying before, I don't wanna just insert every comment. There's a lot of useless comments on Reddit, who'd have thunk? Uh, but, so, so basically we're gonna have a threshold here. We're gonna say if score is greater than or equal to two, and you could pick something else. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, even like five or 15, uh, especially if you got the entire just torrent dump from Reddit, or, you know, if you're doing BigQuery or something like that, and especially with BigQuery, you could actually throw this into your big query, right? Before you even pull the data, you could use a pretty substantial uh, number here. Anyway, I'm gonna go with two for now, just something more than one. Um, so this just says, basically, somebody saw this comment and somebody somewhere was like, eh, yeah, and they hit an upvote, okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> so if score is greater than or equal to two, um, what we wanna do is basically at that point, we're thinking, hmm, we would like to insert this data into our database, but what if we already have that a comment? You know, what if we already have, you know, basically what if, you know, that comment score is greater than two, but it has a parent ID, right? Um, what if we already have a reply to that parent ID? Like, what if we don't need one? And if we do already have a reply, basically what we're gonna wanna know is like, okay, well, what's the existing score of that comment? Does this score, or does this comment have a better score? So. So we need to find that out. So we're gonna say if score is greater than or equal to two, uh, we're gonna say existing underscore comment underscore score equals find existing score. And we're gonna search for the existing score um, by parent ID. So we're gonna search for the parent ID and see if is there a comment in reply to this parent ID that already has a score greater than, um, greater than our current score. If not, we don't care. If so, we're gonna go ahead and update that row with a new reply and the new score and all the other new data. Okay, so uh, so yeah, we wanna do that. Now what we wanna do is actually create this uh, find existing score function. So I'll copy that, I'll come up here, define find existing score. And um, basically, again, we're gonna search for that by uh, parent ID. So what we're gonna do is let's just, let's. Uh, I like the idea of try and accept and return false if uh, if all else fails. So let's go ahead and paste that that lovely logic in. And honestly, a lot of this stuff's gonna remain the same. So let's do, yeah, this is like almost an identical function, honestly. So, so, so in this case, we wanna not select comment, but we wanna select score from parent reply, where, not comment ID this time, we wanna do parent ID, where parent ID is equal to blank, limit one, format, parent ID. Uh, C.execute, SQL, uh, result, fetch one, none, uh, return zero, otherwise we return false. Um, and then return false, yeah. I think that's right. I hope that logic's right. <laughs> we'll find out. Anyway, uh, cool. So once we've done that, awesome. So then we're gonna ask, you know, if existing comment score, so basically if it has any value besides false, this is gonna be true. So if existing score, um, then our question is, well, is our current score greater than the existing comment score? <laughs> question mark. Um, and then if it is, now we're thinking, okay, we're ready to, to possibly insert this data. And in this case, we would actually be updating a row rather than just a straight up insert. Um, 
Now, the other thing that I want to go ahead and do is um, create the acceptable data. So, because the other thing we're going to ask before we do an insert is, is this even an acceptable statement? And in theory, actually, we probably should ask that even like up here. <laughs> like before we consider anything else, it needs to be acceptable. But uh, let's go ahead and build it real quick. So what we're gonna do is uh, define acceptable. It's gonna take in data, which is gonna be the comment, um, basically. And then if len of data.split, and we're, we're just gonna split by space, but we're just gonna tokenize it real quick and see, um, is that length greater than, uh, so that we're gonna be doing multiple models here. <laughs> But one of them is going to require that we bucket to a maximum length of about 50, uh, 50 words. So I'm going to say 50 here. Uh, but later, we might want to modify that a little bit. But anyway, or the len of um, data is less than one. So like, let's just say that was like an empty comment for whatever reason. Maybe someone edited it or something like that. Um, what we want to do in this case is return false. Uh, elif, the len of the data for whatever reason is greater than like a thousand, so it's got more than a thousand characters. Chances are that's something we don't really want, um, so we're going to go ahead and return false there as well. Uh, elif data equals, um, and here are two versions of um, comments being removed or deleted. There's deleted, elif data equals deleted, or data equals. Um, removed, we want to go ahead and return false. Else, let's return true. So again, I'm not really sure why, but um, when I, maybe it's like when a user deletes versus when a mod deletes or an admin deletes. I don't know, but they, these two things exist. <laughs> to me, they mean the exact same thing. Okay, anyway, um, I think this is a good stopping point. We've been building a lot of stuff here, so um, I'm trying not to keep keep my videos from being 20 minutes long each. So, so we'll go ahead and stop here, and in the next tutorial, we'll continue kind of building this out. We'll actually ask if something is acceptable, um, and then we'll probably, in the next tutorial, be able to actually finish this and press go and start populating a database. So uh, that's what you guys have to look forward to. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial.